I'm Mike Sharp. I'm with Snorkel International and Extreme Manufacturing's Product Support Department. Today we're going to do the daily inspection and walk around of the A46JRT. Let's get to it. Okay, let's get started with our daily inspection. First of all, we'll start with the tires. We want to look at the tread of the tire to make sure there is no damage to the tread, there's no chunks coming out, the tire is not separating from the rim itself. Next, we're going to check our lug nuts. Uh, for a daily inspection, we just do a visual to see that the lug nuts are tight. Um, periodically, you need to go ahead and check the torque on your lug nuts. Also, we want to look for any leakage on the front of our hub. We can move around the machine here. We'll look for any leakage at the back of the hub and any connection points on our hydraulics. Next, we'll remove the cowling to the engine compartment and check our fluids. For checking fluids, we'll start with the battery. Remove the caps from the battery just to make sure that the electrolyte and the water level is up to appropriate levels. Next, we'll pull the dipstick and check our engine oil, making sure that it's always in the full position. Our hydraulic oil fill is here, but if you look, the gauge is right here on the tank. Always make sure that with the engine or with the boom in the stowed position, all the cylinders in the retracted position, that the oil level is into the gauge. Next on our list for the daily walk around and inspection is to do a function check of our lower control switches. So we will start the unit. We'll hit our enable switch and then go through the function of each switch. So next we'll check all of our function controls from the upper platform control box. Step on the enable switch with the engine running. Go through each switch to make sure that function operates properly. And that's all there is to it.